好，第十三條呢，就考下我哋對血管嘅認知啦。咁啊，四條血管啦，邊一條血管呢？佢所運送嘅尿素呢係最多嘅。咁啊 ，A、B、C、D 啦，各自知道返啦，佢哋關啲咩器官事先 ？Renal vein 呢，就係腎靜脈 ，Hepatic vein 呢，肝靜脈。pulmonary vein 咧，肺静脉 ；hepatic portal vein 咧，就系肝门静脉。咁啊，成条题目啦，考我哋嘅咧，第一个问题最关键嘅就系边个器官产生尿素。咁因为如果呢条题目你答唔到嘅话咧，其实 A、B、C、D 你都系乱撞嘅啫。咁啊，就系由咧个 liver 个肝咧去制造尿素嘅。咁头先我哋都有条 M、C 啦，佢讲过咧就系 deamination 啊，脱氨作用。個肝呢就將過多嘅 amino acid 就會將佢轉化成 carbohydrate 啊、lipid 啊同埋尿素啦，將佢斬開咗佢嘅。咁佢第一個要諗嘅嘢啦，咁一定係關下肝事㗎啦。呢度第二樣呢，就係講緊血流方向啦。咁啊呢度俾埋大家咯喎 ，venule vein 咧就係由個腎返心臟 ，hepatic vein 呢，由個肝返心臟。即係離開個肝啦，咁啊去到 c a p o m o n a r y vein 呢，就係、是、由個肺返心臟離開個肺，咁去到 D 呢，就係、是、離開小腸去個肝，咁而家啦係講緊個肝去製造呢個尿素啊嘛，咁自不然啊離開個肝嗰條血管呢，就應該較為多嘅尿素啦，所以答案就係 boy 啦。咁除咗呢一條題目之外啦 ，A、B、C、D 仲有啲咩可以問你啊？又睇下題目可以點樣變化法咯、啊。咁其中一款變化呢，就係、是、問邊個血管有最少嘅 urea， 咁答案就會係 A 啦。咁啊，因為 kidney 有咩用處啊？就係、是、幫我哋去 remove 個 urea 嘛。幫我哋咧做一個 ultra filtration 係咪超濾作用，將啲 urea 就踢走咗佢嘅，咁啊經過尿液排出啦。邊條血管有最多嘅氧氣？咁啊當然啦，係我哋嘅 pulmonary vein， 因為個肺咧就攞嚟做 gas exchange 氣體交換，就大氣攞氧氣同埋踢走啲 CO2。問你 CO2 得唔得啊？咁梗係得啦，佢咪會問你啦，邊個係有最少嘅 CO2 嘅含量咯？係咪？跟住去到第三啦，就係咧兩邊咧。都係一啲微血管嚟嘅，自不然就係 hepatic portal vein 啦。一邊咧就係小腸，一邊咧就係呢個 liver。咁所以啦，中間咧就係呢條血管 hepatic portal vein。呢邊又係微血管，呢邊都係微血管，就是這樣。Question fourteen is about blood vessels. Which one contains blood with the highest urea content? So for the blood vessel A, B, C, D, I would like to talk about the blood flow direction first. When you vein Carry the blood from kidney to the heart. Hepatic vein carry the blood from liver to the heart. Pulmonary vein carry the blood from lungs to the heart. Hepatic portal vein carry the blood from small intestine to the liver. After we clarify the blood flow direction, we need to answer this important question: Which organ produce urea? Because if you cannot answer this question, somehow you just blind guess the answer, and the organ is liver. In the previous MC, we talk about the reaction deamination, which is a catabolic activity. For the liver, it can break down the excess amino acid into carbohydrate or lipid and urea. So that's why for the liver, it is the organ which produces the urea. So that's why the blood from the liver will carry the highest amount of urea. So that's why the answer is B. So、apart from asking highest urea content, so any other possible variation of the questions, so it can ask you the blood vessel, which one of them carry blood with the lowest urea content, and the answer is A, because the kidney, the function we know that is responsible to remove the urea. And I hope that you still recall the process ultra filtration. In the kidney, help us to remove the urea from our blood. And the next possibility is to ask which blood vessel carry blood with the highest oxygen content. And the answer is C, pulmonary vein, because we can know that for the lungs, its main function is for gas exchange, obtain the oxygen, and then remove the carbon dioxide. So apart from O two, of course, it can ask about the carbon dioxide concentration. And for the pulmonary vein, it will carry the blood with the lowest carbon dioxide concentration. And for the third one, which blood vessel branches into capillary at both ends? And the answer is D, hepatic portal vein, because it carries the blood from small intestine to the liver. It is the small intestine. It is the liver, and then there is the blood vessel in between these two organs. One side we have the capillary, and the other side we also have the capillary. So that's the possible 
question variation. You need to be aware.